foul inbound. It's off the smoke for the seventh game. And Boston becomes the fourth team ever down three games to none to force a game seven. Jimmy got to be more aggressive. Miami can't beat them. They're not good enough. Butler will drive on Robert Williams and put on the brakes and hit the chain. Turnover, Butler at the other end. Defense to offense. Transitions are heat are going to the NBA Finals. The Larry Bird Trophy. Jimmy Butler. What has Caleb Martin's emergence meant for you? Everything. We like it the hard way. We never want it easy. After losing games four, five, and six, it appeared that Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat were through. Only instead, we had yet again another historic no-show game seven by the Boston Celtics, which many people are blaming on Jason Tatum's ankle. But really, at the end of the day, what happened is that Jimmy Butler stepped up again. In the 2023 regular season, Jimmy Butler had the best year of his career, averaging 22.9 points, 5.9 rebounds, and 5.3 assists per game on the way to being named for the first time ever second team all nba at the age of 33 a remarkable achievement top 10 in the nba only at this point in time it is clear that a 33 year old jimmy butler is chasing something far greater the greatest individual run to a championship in nba history because seriously when it comes to the greatest individual run in playoff history in terms of the difference in how you play in the regular season versus the playoffs who has had the best run of all time and if jimmy butler continues to play at this level where is he going to rank on that list is he actually having the greatest playoff run we've ever seen so what's up guys mike here and we know in 2011 dirk nowitzki battled through lebron james in the big three miami heat and many consider this to be the greatest individual one-man playoff run we have ever seen during that run seemingly dirk tapped into a level that we had never seen him play at before and on the stat sheet he averaged 4.7 more points per game and a Amazingly, what Jimmy Butler has been doing has been statistically better. In this year's 2023 regular season, Jimmy averaged 22.9 points per game. And in the playoffs now, Jimmy is averaging 28.5 points per game, 5.6 more. But the question still remains, who has had the best raise your game individual playoff run ever? And back in 2011, Dirk Nowitzki was just like Jimmy Butler. Dirk in 2011 was second team all NBA. He averaged 23.7 rebounds and 2.3 assists per game. And then in the playoffs, he caught fire. The story of 2011 quickly became, could the white hot Dirk Nowitzki take down the big three Heatles, who, by the way, had guaranteed something like seven straight championships just the summer before. But in the 2011 playoffs, it was Dirk Nowitzki who averaged 27.7 points, 8.1 rebounds, and 2.5 assists per game. As just like Jimmy Butler, Dirk Nowitzki was surrounded by role players who stepped up. However, it can certainly be argued that Dirk Nowitzki had a better supporting cast. But before we continue, guys, I am very excited to thank Pristine Auction for sponsoring today's video. And if you did not know about pristineauction.com, they are the most trusted sports memorabilia and collectibles auction site. Auctions on pristineauction.com start at just $1, and each day, there are over thousands of autographed items available, so you win signed authentic signatures at affordable prices. Affordable deals are happening all the time on pristineauction.com, and they have just about every player you could want. So if you want old school or new school, they've got it. Every item on pristineauction.com comes with a certificate of authenticity from the industry's most reputable authenticators. Upgrade your collection of signed memorabilia today and get $10 off. That is $10 off your first item when you use code Mike, but also there is more because Pristine Auction is hooking us up. Pristine Auction is giving away this signed Jokic jersey to one of you, two-time MVP. Should he have been three-time MVP? Here's your chance to win. All you have to do is sign up on their website and use my registration code Mike and that is it you'll be entered the links are all in the description thank you again to pristine auction for sponsoring today's video and with all that said let's get back into the video on the Miami Heat side Tyler Hero was the 2022 sixth man of the year and this season averaged 20 points per game and he's sitting on the bench the Mavericks meanwhile had the veteran play of Hall of Famer Jason Kidd as well as Tyson Chandler the season before he was named defensive player of the year and elite role players that stepped up yes they had Jason Terry but they also had Sean Marion and and J.J. Barea certainly came up huge. Meanwhile, on the Miami Heat side, Jimmy Butler has averaged 28.5 points, 7 rebounds, and 
5.7 assists per game, while also contributing 2.1 steals a night. Better numbers than Dirk Nowitzki in the playoffs, and despite the losses in games four through six, despite the loss of momentum in Jimmy Butler's run, we have to remember what Jimmy Butler is doing is truly historic right now. There is a reason we keep hearing undrafted when it comes to these Miami players. The names I mentioned before, Jason Kidd, Jason Terry, Tyson Chandler, those are established NBA vets. Caleb Martin and Gabe Vincent, Max Struess, these are guys who are really stepping up out of seemingly nowhere. So personally, with that in mind, I think if Jimmy Butler is able to close this out, he is, in my opinion, on pace to have a better run than Dirk Nowitzki in 2011. And again, Dirk's run is known as possibly the best individual run of all time. But in terms of, again, the actual best, combing through the list of finals MVPs, just recently, we have watched as players such as Stefan Giannis were absolute monsters in the NBA finals and raised their numbers in tremendous ways. But when also looking throughout NBA history, I hit on a constant theme. And that was that a lot of players have had tremendous individual series. But when it comes to a whole playoff run that is capped by an NBA finals MVP, along with, of course, a championship. I'm sorry, Jerry West. The list of players who actually raise their game more than three points per game in NBA playoff history is just simply not that many. We have 2019 Kawhi, 2017 Kevin Durant, 2011 Dirk, 2009 Kobe, 1995 Hakeem, 1992 Michael Jordan, and 1984 Larry Bird. With this list, we have the absolute apex of Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Kevin Durant's primes. Runs where even as four of the greatest players to ever play the game, these four were somehow able to step up even more. Kobe's 2009 run goes to me as both underappreciated as a star and also, you can take what you want from this story. In Kobe's own words, one of my favorite things, things that motivate teammates. How hates it every time I tell this story. Hates it. But we lost to the Celtics in 2008. And it was a physical series. I mean, they beat the crap out of us. So we go into the Olympic year that year. We played Spain in the gold medal match and we beat them. So now we come back to start training camp. And when Pau shows up, the first day of training camp, I have my gold medal hanging in his locker. The one thing that he, Pau, truly loves is his country. And that is like everything to him. So it just drove him crazy. I said, Pau, listen. And he said, you're an I said, listen, pal, you lost to the Celtics. You lost to us in the gold medal match. Let's not make this three in a row this year. Okay, let's win this thing. And that was it. Pau Gasol, since that, has openly said that he is very happy with Kobe Bryant's version of tough love. And while I am almost positive that Jimmy Butler is not doing things on quite that level, the Miami Heat have certainly been led by Butler's leadership and unshakable confidence. Miami believes in themselves so much that as an organization, flight records show that the Heat already booked flights to Denver for after game seven, not a return trip to Miami. This is a team that certainly believes in the star player that is carrying them. This is also a team that has to give a huge shout out to Caleb Martin, man. I mean, end of the day. I want to know, would you like to see a video on Caleb Martin as perhaps the best individual one series by a role player ever? Because Martin was very solid in the first two rounds, but in the Eastern Conference Finals, we just watched Caleb Martin out duel Jalen Brown, simple as that. So at the end of the day, as Jimmy Butler himself has said, his teammates are certainly stepping up, but they are also certainly following the leader and bringing back this list of greatest playoff risers ever. We've had solo missions before. We've had Kawhi Leonard with, of course, the Toronto Raptors. We've had Dirk Nowitzki and we've had 1995 Hakeem, the second of the Rockets back-to-back -back championships, by the way. But in these three years, 2019 Kawhi, 2011 Dirk, 1995 Hakeem, all three of those players rose their games to heights that brought their cities a championship and brought their historical resumes as NBA Hall of Famers to new heights. We certainly think of Dirk Nowitzki in a much, much different light than we used to. Winning a championship the way he did will do that for you. And so now, really, the stage is set. Jimmy Butler certainly has a chance to have the greatest individual playoff run we have ever seen. If he is able to close out the NBA Finals, there is a chance that Jimmy Butler both finishes as the top player on this list in terms of stats, but also, of course, in terms of pure impressiveness. However, on the flip side, right now headed into those finals, it could also be said by some that Jimmy Butler has cooled off. In the first five games of the playoffs against the Milwaukee Bucks, Jimmy took down the one seed with an incredible outburst of 37.6 points, six rebounds, and 4.8 assists per game. Since then, against the Knicks and Heat, Jimmy has averaged a combined 24.4 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 6.1 assists per game. Numbers that are almost identical to his regular season numbers. So to end this run, as the all-time razor in NBA history, Jimmy is going to need to go out and seal the deal. He is going to need 
need to win the NBA championship. He's going to need to rally the troops one more time and take down the two-time MVP in Nikola Jokic, along with a juggernaut of a Denver Nuggets team. Will he be able to do it? At this point, I think there is one thing we should certainly know. We should never doubt Jimmy Butler. So thank you for watching. If you are still here, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you never miss a video in the future. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.